Welcome back, everybody, to my survival series let's play called Surviving Black River with myself, Rusty Money, here on PlayStation Network, here for Farming Simulator 22 on PlayStation 5. So welcome to another episode here called Auction Time. So we just finished up washing some dishes from our nice morning breakfast and we got some items that are going to go up for auction on an online auction sale. So we're going to show you those items that I'm going to put up for auction here. We are going to sell off our little tipper wagon and bale trailer right there. We're going to sell this wind rower and this little mower. This plow and I am going to go ahead and sell this miner truck. I do got some other plans in mind. Right now we have $30,000, almost $31,000. We have quite a bit of silage in our silo that we can go sell. We got three fields that we can put crop in, which I think I'm gonna put sorghum in. Our potatoes are growing really nice right here in this field. And um, we've got a grass field here ready to harvest. And we've got some more olives over there underneath our two olive trees. And I think we already have like 15,000 liters of olives in the silo to sell. So we are going to, um, yeah, have a little bit of fun here. So we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to do some, do some uh, work in these fields with our tractor, get some of the sorghum in the ground, and uh, they should be starting that auction, and we're a bit, supposed to be able to hear it on the radio, so... We'll uh, turn our old tractor radio on and, and uh, listen to that old auction and uh, see what kind of money we get brought in from our equipment that we're going to sell at that auction and uh, see what money we end up with so we can go buy some new equipment. But first off, we're going to go ahead and we're going to get on over to our far field over here and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put some sorghum in it turn on that old radio because that auction should be starting pretty soon and we'll give her a listen and and uh, see what we end up with for money um, so it should should be uh, a really good situation for us um, I think it's gonna go well as we uh, are going to use that money to get some other equipment. So now we need to uh, figure out what we're doing here. We need to get some other crop in the ground. All right, well, let's go ahead and uh, get some sorghum in this field here. Uh, should be a good field to put this sorghum in. We should get a decent amount off of this. And we're going to go ahead and put sorghum in our other two fields, our bigger field as well, and our smaller field that we just got plowed in. I was able to uh, harvest out the rest of the trees on this property. So now all the trees that I want cut for right now are all cut down and uh, we have uh, a new area of land that we can utilize or I should say piece of this land to utilize. So we didn't make a lot off the remaining trees but we got our money up to 30000 at the beginning of this uh, episode. You should have saw a little bit of a time lapse for some logging activity hope you all enjoyed that as you should have seen in the video me uh, lifting some logs with the front loader and uh, making a little bit of money so we are progressing really well we need to figure out what else we're gonna be doing here 
And we'll need to focus on probably trying to save some money so we can get that quarry or the main farm bought. So we can start making some other money. But I have a feeling that we're going to have to maybe consider some other purchases before we get to buying the quarry or the main farm. Because we're going to have to probably buy some other land and productions in order to get our money up there so we can buy that quarry and main farm. So we're going to have to spend a little bit of money to make a little bit more money. But that's all a part of survival. And uh, we'll see what kind of equipment might show up in our new sales section. Right now the only thing good in new sales section is another 4320, which we have one right now. We don't need another one, and I don't need a third tractor right now. Two is enough. So unless we get a better tractor... Probably won't be buying another tractor for a little while. We'll uh, see fit with the ones we have here and move along. But uh, yeah, that old uh, live auction should be starting pretty soon. So we'll have to tune in our radio to that live auction and uh, see what. Uh, what we get for incoming money so let's uh, tune in that radio here <laughs> welcome to auction time brought to you by John Deere and Black River <laughs> well that was kind of no good service right there. Let's try that again. I think I heard it say, uh, Welcome to Auction Time, brought to you by John Deere and Black River. Let's see if we can try that again. <laughs> Auction Time, brought to you by John Deere and Black River. All right. Well, here we go. Item number one. Tipper trailer, bale trailer, 500, 500, 500, give me 500, oh, yep, 200, oh, 200, 200, 250, 250, yep, sold, first buyer, harrow time, harrow time, I didn't have a harrow, I had a wind rower. Oh, they'll get it right eventually, I think. Well, 600, 600, 600, 625, 625, 625. So, second buyer. Miner truck. 8,000, 8,000, 8,000, 8, 8, 8, Yep. 9,000, 9,000, 9,000, 9,250. Yep. Sold. Number three, buyer. Wow, man. Sounds like that auction went pretty good. We'll have to get over to the farm here and see what kind of money we made, everybody. Well, look at that, everybody. Welcome back. We have $51,976. Wow, we made like $21,000 off our auction. That, I'd say that was a pretty good deal to go ahead and go do. So now we can get on down to the shop and see what else we can uh, purchase uh, to help us here on the farm so we're sitting really good here with uh, $51,000 so not too bad that was some kind of amateur uh, beginner uh, crazy auctioneer though I think that we had to listen to on the radio <laughs> 
Yeah, I don't think he was very experienced, but, uh, yeah, I think I'll settle with $21,000, though. We were sitting at, like, 30000 and we're up to fifty-one now, so I'd call that a pretty good deal. You know, not too bad, if I say so myself. Uh, yeah, I think uh, I think that that was doing it pretty good. Now, originally, I was gonna put some uh, soybeans in this field here, but I decided to go ahead and change my mind, and uh, we're gonna see what we can get for sorghum off all my fields here, and. Uh, see what we can get rolling in for money so i think i'm gonna go ahead everybody we're gonna put you in a little bit of a time lapse as we do some uh putting some crop in the ground here in this field and my other little one and uh, we'll be back with you as soon as we have finished our uh planting season here and uh, then we'll probably call it a day and see what our see what our money is at maybe uh yeah we'll just see what the rest of the day brings here we do need to go buy a new mower now though because we're gonna need to mow our f grass field and get that all put in our silage bunker to make more silage and we've got more silage to go sell as well so yeah we'll be right back with you all here momentarily Welcome back, everybody. Well, we got that sorghum planted in the fields, and now we're just finishing up rolling our fields here. Uh, hopefully uh, increase our good old production and yields, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. I just like rolling fields, I guess. It don't bother me any most times. But, yeah. We're about to wrap up rolling this field, and then I think we might venture on down to the store and uh, buy our new mower. And then um, 
we will uh, get that field mode, I think. Where are we at for uh, where else we need to? Oh, yeah, okay. I can see it now. We need to get that down right there, I think. And then roll this here. Got to angle it back this way. We should have about the whole thing done here. And not much longer. I should probably try and sell some silage. But I'm also considering on just hanging on to the silage. No really big rush at selling it. If we hang on to it, we can try and get a little bit more money for it then. And sell silage all at once. Now, where are we at here? I can't see my shadow. There we go. There's what we need. We need to get back a little bit this direction. And get the roller back down on the ground there. And get this rolled then. Should only have about one more pass. Let's just turn around here. One more pass and we will have this all rolled. And then we can put this away. Let's raise that up and fold it. And... We will go to the store and get a mower. Welcome back, everybody. Well, as you can see here, we bought ourselves a new John Deere mower, pull-behind mower. We ended up spending just over $5,000 to repaint our tractor here because I want it to last a little while longer and also repaired it. So all in all, it was around probably six dollars to $7,000 in total spent. And then we spent 15000 on this, a little over 15000 on this mower. And a little over, I think, uh, $1,300 or something like that for a windrower. So we'll have to go back up to the store and pick up our windrower. But right now we need to get this grass field mowed and uh, get it windrowed and picked up and put in the silage bunker for silage. I'm interested to see just exactly how much grass we're going to get off of this field as this is the first cut on this field um, but I'm very interested to see how it's going to turn out because um, this was not our so much uh, an original grass field it was a couple of grass fields but they were separated but now I wanted to make it all one grass field and plowed the land between the two fields that were here. So I'm just kind of interested to just see how much grass is all on this uh, larger field now that we plowed them together and extended it a little bit. But I think I'm going to go ahead and continue to mow here, everybody, and kind of jump cut into... Uh, getting this uh, picked up um, to be put in the silage bunker so we will uh, see you then everybody welcome back everybody well we are now picking up our grass off of this grass field here that we just cut I just dumped one load into the silage bunker already so now this will be a uh, load number two uh, about one full windrow on the longest part of this field is about a hundred percent about a full wagon 
All right, so we got 9,979 liters so far. Still got to get the rest of this picked up. But I don't think it's going to be that bad of a harvest. That's going to be pretty good. Oh, we're full. All right, let's empty this in here now. And get it going. Dump that in there. Drive across here slow. So we can get it all in there then. There we go. All right, now let's get back to picking up more grass. So we can then go into the next day, I think, and see what's going on. Welcome back, everybody. Well, now we can see what we got off this one big field, and the only other grass field we have then is around that log cabin house. So let's see what we got here for leaders when we get this dumped. Let's get that gate open there and get this dumped in here so then we can see what we have. Not too bad. 56,031 liters off that one field. So not too bad, I don't say so myself. And that's just the first cutting, so... Alright, well, let's get... We're just going to put this over here out of the way. But I'm going to go ahead and we are going to compact this pile here. And uh, we will uh, be back with you in a few minutes. Welcome back, everybody. Well, as we have gotten a lot of work done on the farm with the seeding in our sorghum and also taking care of some other things like mowing our grass and putting it in a silage bunker and compacting it all that hard work now it's time that we make some money so we have 30,000 uh, liters of olives actually 31,000 liters of olives that we're gonna sell uh, we'll probably only sell 30,000 because that will make uh, two full trips and I cannot drive right now we need to pull in here and sell this load here 15,000 liters then we'll have one more load to bring over and sell this should give us a really nice bit of money <clears throat> olives are selling just over 1,600 and some dollars per liter, so this should be a really nice chunk of money right here. Let's get that dumped and get this dumped here. And watch our money grow. We are up to 40,000. Ooh, we just got another trophy. <laughs> A trophy for olives, I'm gonna guess. Now we made 25,200... $25,099 plus $2,402 bonus. Alright, well, it is time to... Go back over to the farm, I think, and we're going to get another load of these olives and bring it over here and sell. And then it is a matter of what we should do. <laughs> 
we're gonna have a nice bit of money to where we can maybe buy a new production point which is full of wood which is the carpentry point I think we might have enough to buy that um, we can maybe buy another piece of property or just hang on to the money until we get our silage sold too and then see what we get for money or have for money then so let's go up here and grab another load of this olives and go sell it down there at that same sell point. And see what we end up with. Hopefully, if we can get another 25,000, we will be like at 80,000 something. 80 to 82,000 I think is what we'll end up with all right let's fill this back up here 15,750 liters there all right we will leave the excess 750 liters in the silo all right, there we go. Another 15,000 liters of olives. We'll take down there to Lizard Logistics and sell it. We are in day two of May is where we're at right now. We skipped ahead, I believe, one or two days. Uh, just not much going on. So, we will see what another new day might bring us if we move into June before we uh, decide to call it quits for um, this episode anyway. i uh, really interested to see what kind of money we end up with. We could put a huge debt into our debt at the bank. see if we do that or not or what we will decide to go ahead and do because 80, 80 to 82 thousand dollars is gonna be lots of money and that is gonna be <laughs> uh a problem with trying to hang on to that money we're gonna want to spend it probably but we can try and save let's dump this in here and see what we end up with then $3,171. Um, the only temptation I really have is to buy that production point. That carpentry production point. So we might visit that. And see how much that is going to be worth purchasing. much we've got to spend I was thinking that it costs 65,000 or 
for sixty thousand, but it might have been a hundred and some thousand. All right, let's pull back into the farm here, and we will then get some rest. I think for the day, it's been a long, hard day here on the farm. Let's check our classifieds and just see how much that uh, carpentry point is. All right, everybody. Well, we just found it in the paper, and the carpentry point is being sold for sixty thousand dollars to purchase it so if we were to purchase it we'd have twenty three thousand left over i think we're gonna get some rest for the day though all right well we got our nice cup of coffee hot cup of coffee i can't talk this morning it looks like from outside our window our grass around our cabin needs mowed let's check the classifieds again well here in the classifieds for used vehicle sales we got a Hauer front loader a Strutman manure spreader a Junkaria tipper body a Roto trim bulk carrier and a cedar I don't think we need any of this, really. Any of it is really going to be any of benefit. So, scratch that plan. I think we need to get to work. Yeah, this grass needs mowed, that's for sure. I don't think our other grass needs mowed yet. I don't think it does. Well, it's ready to harvest, but we're going to let it grow a little bit more. Our potatoes here, they're growing pretty nice. And so is our sorghum. But... I think we'll hop on the old tractor and get to mowing that field. Our field around our cabin anyway. It's not going to take too much to mow it. Let's see. Let's get this all hooked up and ready to go yeah get it all hooked up and ready to go let's get it down here well it appears that farm dog Murphy had other plans for us everybody as you were all disturbed by his barking trying to tell us somebody was here but there's nobody here so not sure what he was up to but I think this is probably a good spot to end this episode everybody as I'm going to go ahead and continue to mow this little place of spot of grass around our cabin and get it put in my silage bunker so then we can cover it and uh, make some more silage. So um, we will see you all in the next one. And if you enjoyed this, please drop me a tasty treat on top of that like button, which is better known by myself as the cop battery and by you all people as a delicious donut. And... Don't forget to share a box of donuts with all our friends and family by sharing the videos and the live streams from the channel. 
but for myself, Rusty Money, we will see you all on the flip side, everybody. Have a good one. PlayStation.